I would say that's a it's a common enough call it wouldn't be an everyday call you probably maybe in a spring you might get four or five it depends and it's it's basically when the the whole so the calf is in the uterus and for whatever reason pe- people say like cows that are bullied and they're pucked or you know if they're running around like lunatics but then there's no real actual I don't know if anyone actually came up with a, a proper why it happens but it happens and there's different degrees like so it could be like 180 degree twist it could be 360 could be 720 um so obviously if it's set like 360 you can't even grab a leg or anything it's just completely closed um but most like a lot of them the 270s and things like that you can you can get a leg or you can get grab with a hold of the of the head and usually um you can just untwist them but you need to kind of um I suppose anchor yourself to something so you can yeah. untwist yeah but there's 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 a thing called a gin stick which is um a, a tool that's been developed I don't know how long it's been out definitely in the last maybe maybe less than 10 years anyway and it's it's a stick basically that you have ropes on and you tie onto the legs but you have to be able to get to the legs to use it and then you you twist the stick from outside so it helps the shoulders so yeah my shoulders are not I spend a lot of money on physios uh, for my shoulders from twisted uteruses. Yeah, so they're they're not the nicest of calls, but it's great when you untwist it. And oh, but sometimes you can spend an hour untwisting it, and then the cow doesn't ever open up properly, and you have to do a section anyway. And that's just that's all the joy. But as long as you get as long as you get your live calf, that's the best yeah, feeling in the world. Absolute best feeling in the world. Yeah. Yeah, live calf out, a healthy mother. It's good feeling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But they generally just might have a tail out and like they might have their tail up and you won't see any progression. And uh, they might be straining and you'll say, oh, that cow should have calved hours ago. And then you put your hand in and you'll see that there's a the cervix is, is twisted, the uterus is twisted. Yes. So, um, yeah, there's loads of, I don't know. I, I, you asked me maybe my, my most unusual call. I don't know. Like I had a, a calf that was stomach tubes, you know, it's claustrum, and the stomach tube was, I'd say it must have been from, I don't know, 1920. I'd say the poor tube fell apart in in as the calf was like, you know, in in the calf, and the so the the farmer took away the bottle and the tube was missing. Okay. The tube was in the calf, and the calf was only a day old, and I had to do a, a surgery to remove the tube from the stomach. Um, yeah, so that was good, and the calf lived, and it was brilliant. Yeah. So, 